Hey everybody, so we are here today to do the 3,000 sub Q&A. And of course, Boomer's in the shot. Maybe I should put my ear, reindeer antlers on him. I'll just hide behind him. <laughs> That's not a problem, is it? It's just no. in the way. Okay, Boomer. <clears throat> oh, okay. Our first question is from Angie Lupus Life. What are three places you think everyone should visit at least once? Well, other than the bathroom, <laughs> we don't really know because I've never really gone too many places in my life. Um, so, but I've been I've been to a bunch of places and I've been I've been on national tours with the bands. I've been on international tours in Germany, Switzerland, Austria. And the best advice I would have about traveling is travel. Just get out of your hometown. Yeah. So, but I, I can't say any particular places. Just next question <coughs> is from Gareth Bodden from Meet the Boddens. How long have I been playing the drums? Uh, probably thirty-five years now. Uh, I started in high school. I have a master's degree in music. I don't really do much with it anymore except to hang out with the band, which. I don't get to do enough of. Not he looked at me as he said that, and it's not my fault. All right. <laughs> what are your favorite tunes to play? Um, I uh, the band plays um, '80s alternative, and uh, personally, I like to play anything that has really cool drum parts to it. So uh, I don't. Um, I've played pretty much everything. Uh, rock, I would say, is the, probably the most fun to play. Uh, this, the next would be jazz. I was going to say, he, he, he's good at jazz. He loves playing jazz. And But jazz is a little more complicated. It takes a little bit uh, more time, and uh, you can't really do much jazz drunk. <laughs> so, But the band, the band, we only play stuff that we can play drunk. We usually <laughs> As you are. saw in one of the vlogs <coughs> that they did. So, congrats on 3,000 subs. Thank you. And how do you keep so cheery? Is that to Kevin, me, or both? I refer back to the band one. <laughs> Just kidding. I stay cheery because no matter how miserable I may feel, I am happy as long as I can make other people smile or laugh. So that makes me cheery. So that's that answer. Tanya Longley, what was the first scary movie you watched together? I did not own a DVD player when DVDs were first coming out and really, really popular. I still was on VHS. So when Kevin and I started dating, he went and he bought me a DVD player and he bought me Darkness Falls. So that was the first scary movie we watched together at home, my house, on a DVD player. What was your first pet you got together, and what was its name? Our Fre first pet would have been Freckles. Was Freckles? We got Freckles together. We, I mean, I had my pets. He didn't have any pets, but first one we got together was Freckles. He didn't want them, but he fell in love with them afterwards. And if you could do any ghost investigation you wanted, where would it be? I know my answer. You, what is yours? Um. There's, there's so many places that uh, be really cool to go to, and, but uh, we would like to, some place that we almost got into was the Brackenfern Manor, but uh, for some reason that fell through. Um, if um, We would love also to go to uh, the Stanley Hotel. The Shining. For, uh, the Shining. And I'm, uh, Another else? place, one of my places that I really want, would love to go to is Tombstone. Tombstone, yeah. Excellent. There's like six or seven places there that you can investigate. Yeah, the OK Corral. Mm -hmm. Love it. Next one is Justina C. What sparked your interest in ghost hunting? I would have to say I've always been interested in communicating with the spirits, but I was not interested in ghost hunting until I met him. I had no one to ever want to do it with me, so 
Yeah, I did, and it's something I've always been interested in. I think that's one of the things that uh, we found interested in each other is that uh, our our interest in doing such things. And um, Megan was all excited about it too, so that made it real easy. So the very first thing that we did together as uh, a family was uh, our our ghost trip in 2005. 2005, we took a whole ghost trip up the coast, all the way up to San Francisco. So pretty cool. Antonia Fanare, tell us your scariest paranormal experience. Also, why did you decide to move to California from New York? Huh, well, I decided to move to California from New York because my ex-husband, Megan's father, moved out here and I, we were dating at the time and I followed. So, and I've been back and forth a couple of times, but... After September 11th happened, I was not going to put Megan on a plane any longer to fly by herself, so I moved back here in 2003, and that is when we met. And my scariest paranormal experience was my very first experience, and it shouldn't, it's not really scary, but because it was my first experience it was, um, was when I was babysitting for my cousins and she lives in an old farmhouse with a big long porch and I saw a spirit walking back and forth on her porch I was 16 years old scared the crap out of me but now it's if I don't see them it scares me <laughs> so I don't really have a scary experience and so far I mean I've had some experiences but they've always kind of went Kind of made me go, hmm. You know, it's kind of. I'm the skeptic in the group, so um, nothing is actually has happened. She she has things happen to her all the time. And he witnesses it, but he still doesn't believe. <clears throat> so uh, something, nothing scary. Well, I mean, when she got her leg pulled, it scared me, but that was because I thought she was coming off the bed, not because uh, I was afraid of no ghosts. He so. thought I was falling because I right. have a tendency to fall a lot. So all right. Antonia Fanari also wants to know, when did you start noticing you had OCD and what are your OCD habits? I noticed I was OCD, what, about two years ago? Uh, you know, uh, she's had some OCD um, um, tendencies that we didn't recognize as OCD until, um, I would say... It was, it was about, about two, two years, years ago, ago. I was and it got in really bad. Yeah. So, but some of my habits are I excessive hand washing, excessive brushing my teeth. I can't have trash in the trash cans in any of the the bedrooms. Um, they have to go into. It all has to be emptied into the trash in the kitchen, and that has to go out every night. Kitty litters. Uh, we have five kitty litter boxes in the house. If one of them are soiled, I have to go around and check them all, scoop them all, it's, empty them. It's not as bad as it used to be. Yeah, I am so getting better. Since it was identified and we were able to get her on medication for that, it's not too bad. But it does. It, we do have moments where it's really bad for some reason. And uh, I, probably the most annoying thing right now is, is when she just starts doing something, uh, she, she won't stop. Like <coughs> with my phone? Right now, I yeah. am like doing my she contacts a, and, and... She's having an issue yeah. and, and she's going to be upset about it until it's done. And that, that's yeah. that. So, and so it's a list. You know, I have to keep checking the list and making sure it's right. She like thinks, Santa Claus. I was just about to say, she thinks she's Santa Claus. <laughs> <clears throat> so, Kate, why are you guys so awesome? I don't know. <laughs> why are we? Didn't think we were, but thank you. <laughs> I just don't get it. Hope it's pos. How is it possible that us that to be that awesome? I don't know. What you're about. Why are you guys so gorgeous? Well, okay. Okay. Do, <laughs> Do you need glasses, Kate? <laughs> I got an extra pair. I'll mail them to you. Can you guys do a Kermit the Frog impression? I can't. No. Try. No. You're pretty good. No. How do you know? You're, pr you're pretty Kermit? good at ex impressions, hmm. period. Since when? Well, you're pretty good at singing stuff and doing stuff. Because we got a musician. <laughs> All right, uh, well, moving we, on. We got a read more here, so. No. <laughs> Sorry, so Kate. <laughs> the rainbow connection. That's, you know, that's the closest thing I know about. 
for Val and Kev both. What was your scariest dream? <clears throat> you know, I... I, my scariest dream was before I, I even moved back to California. I was living in New York. Um, and Megan was sick and she was sleeping on the couch. And I was sleeping in the living room with her because she was very sick. And I had a dream that my Aunt Seal, which Megan's middle name is Cecilia, after my Aunt Seal, came to me and she told me that not to worry, that she will watch over Megan. And my Aunt Seal has, had passed away, so she came to me as a spirit in my dream. And when, she, when I had that dream, I wasn't sure if she was telling me Megan passed away and she was watching out over her up there or what. So that was very scary. I jumped up, I you know, checked on Megan, and I couldn't go back to sleep. And I couldn't let Megan out of my sight. She was like three, four years old. I, I wouldn't let Megan out of my sight for the longest time after that. Okay, have you ever had a premonition come true, and what was it? I have, have you? No. Your mother has? Yes. So? Uh, I won't tell her story. I'll, maybe I'll, I'll get mom to tell it one of these days. Okay. I had a premonition, and it was be when I was young. I mean, I was, didn't even have Megan yet, and I was still living at home with my mom and dad, and my mom and dad liked to play the lotto. And I woke up. And I said, I wrote four numbers down. I said, Dad, you need to go play this combination of numbers. And he's like, he looks at me and he's like, what? I was like, yeah, you need to go play this combination of numbers. He says, did you get up earlier and look at the paper? I said, no, I had a dream last night. You need to go play this combination of numbers. They came out that night, or that, that, the night before. So they were in the paper that morning. And of course he would have won $5,000 if I would have had the dream the night before. <laughs> sure, sure. Uh, let's show you ever been. No, I've never had premonitions, and I am one of those kind of people who will have nightmares and night terrors and not remember why. I just be up and. He's been having those a lot lately, yeah. too. Yeah, the only one I remember that's recent is had something. <laughs> uh, I watched this movie about this alien that is like spiky and like, it just attacks people, and so I had this. This dream that it was coming up through the ground into my feet, and they were kind of as thick as pencils, and they were really painful. And I screamed, and she wakes me up, says, "What's going on?" And I said, uh, "I'm being attacked by pencils. Go to sleep." So that has been a joke for like a week afterwards about pencils and me. That's it. All right. <laughs> what states? What states have you been to? States, countries. States. What states, countries? Have you two been to? I've been to Cancun. Um, other than that, I've been to many, many states because I drove cross country several times. But that's about it. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm sure there's a few states I haven't been in, but uh, I did up to at least two tours, uh, concert tours. I couldn't even tell you what states I was in, um, but um, um, been to uh, everybody's been to Mexico who lives in. Uh, uh, California. California. I've never been to Canada, which is a really strange. I've been to Canada too, actually. I've yeah. never been to Canada. Um, Canada. But I've been to Germany, Switzerland, and Austria on the tour. Cool. I haven't been there. What's your favorite sayings? Well, I mean, she, you say things at a little time on your show every time. I say, see y'all later. Mine is, is, yes, dear. Or, no, dear. Or, uh, uh, okay. Okay, Cat Larkin also wants to know if we have any pet peeves. We have pets. <laughs> Some of them really peeve me off. <laughs> but, uh, I, I don't have any pet peeves. No. no. Well, yeah, I do actually have one, and it's about you. Uh-oh. When he throws stuff in his trash can on the side of the bed, he doesn't get it in the trash can. Okay, and bad habits? You want to tell them my bad habit? Uh, you yell at me every time I don't get something into the trash. <laughs> That's not a bad habit. <laughs> What's my bad habit? Um, that you just had to fix. I just forgot it. I sleep too close. Oh, yeah, she sleeps too close. Yeah, I her butt falls off the... <laughs> I, I literally, I sleep. We have a king-size bed, and I sleep, like, right on the edge of the bed. 
The other morning he was getting ready to go to work and I had a migraine and I asked him to get me some fresh ice packs and he like pushed me over so he could put the bed rail up because I was like right on the edge of the bed. So, and most important of all, we love you guys. Oh, okay. We love you too, Kat. Thank you. Susan W., congrats on the subscribers. Thank you, Susan. Yeah. Rex25059, what was the date you posted your first video? I believe it was April 21st. It was terrible. It wasn't terrible. It was a quick little, what? Boomers in his box. Quick, a quick little two-minute video or it something just like that. Just a short introduction, and it had Bones as the star, and it got a lot of hits because it had Bones. And there was a blooper. A skeleton. There was a blooper because he said his ex-wife's name. <laughs> Sixteen-year gap. Uh, she still remembers that. Of course. Sixteen-year gap. Where and when did you guys meet and was it love at first sight? We met online on <laughs> Yahoo. Oh, what a surprise. Yeah, in October of 2003. Yeah, right after Halloween. Yeah. He had an ad. He wanted someone to go to Not Scary Farm with him. And I answered, but it was too late. He had already gone. But we continued talking online for about three months, and then we met in person, and we dated, and we got married in October of 2005. Yeah. Lucy Al, why did you move from, did we answer this one? Yeah, from the east coast to the west coast. Um, because of... Uh, Which do you prefer? I, I'm torn. I like the east coast because I like the winters. I hate the summers back there because it's too humid. I like the East Coast because my family still lives over there. But I love the West Coast because my husband he is here. So, there. West Coast. West Coast. <laughs> too cold, that back So, east. can you pause it again? Okay. Dirty with two T's and two Y's. Two R's, too, actually. Uh, I haven't watched all the vlogs, but what's the injury thing? Um, I am very, very accident prone, I guess you could call it. Um, it's mainly due to my medications. They make me very dizzy a lot, mm. and I fall a lot. So the big joke is I do gravity checks for the world and let everybody know that gravity is working. So that's what the injury sign is for. I'm trying to make it 28 days with no injuries, and then Crimson Fairy, who happens to be a close friend of ours, is going to take me out for a lobster dinner. Yay! And more Megan in the vlogs. She is going to hopefully be able to be in the vlogs a lot more soon. She is finishing up a semester at college right now, but... She is taking the winter off. Taking the winter off. She takes really hard classes, and plus, she is a student instructor for calculus and physics. So she's All right. in school and works for the school as well. Dylan so. Miller asks, "Do you have depression, Val?" Yes, I am actually bipolar. I have depression and I have manic episodes. And the and the OCD. OCD. But I'm on medication for all of it, she, and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. She is medicated for our safety. <laughs> yes, for everybody's safety. <laughs> Crimson Fairy. Why does Kevin object to using the cuss jar for vacation funds? Because I don't get to go. Because <laughs> it's my vacation, not his. <laughs> but he, he's the one who cusses all the time. Oh, I cuss a lot, but you guys never catch it on film, so... <laughs> Pammy Clinton. Hello, all the way from... Birmingham. In the United Kingdom. You guys are awesome. Well, thank you. My question is, why did you both do... What? What? Oh, what did you both do to celebrate your 30th? Mine is fast approaching and wants some inspiration on how to celebrate mine. Keep up with the vlogs and make me smile on my darkest days. Well, 
<laughs> My 30th has been gone for so long. I, I don't remember. Just, I'm 55. That was 25 years ago, right? Yeah. 30, 40, yeah, 25 years ago. I don't remember my 30th. Yeah, and I'm 48, and I I have a very bad memory to begin with, you know. So I really don't know what we what I did for my 30th. So, but I'm sure whatever you do, you you know, make it's it fun. Be good. Make it fun. Don't worry, 30s nothing. Yeah, make You're it still fun. Still young. Make it fun, and um, I hope we can make you smile and laugh every day because that's really what I'm here for, you know. That's my goal in life, is to make everybody smile and laugh. I'm here because someone says I'm awesome. <laughs> Jess Lazaro, I hope that bat got to the sanctuary okay. I think I've seen some solar panels on your house. Can you talk a little bit about the solar setup? That's all you. Oh, yeah, well, uh, we... Uh, we have something going on in California where uh, it started with uh, the, the governor, you know, uh, um, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Uh, he, what they called it, Million, Million Roof Project or something. And he, it's, um, there's a, a federal and a state um, rebate for putting solar panels. So first thing we did was try that Varengo, and that is not a good deal. Um, unless you just feel like you have to do it because you don't really own the system and you don't get the the real uh, uh, rebate rebate um, I mean they get everything they get everything uh, and it's true that it's free but uh, you're paying about a hundred and thirty dollars a month on on energy and you're buying it from Varengo now instead of the electric company so we bought ours outright uh, it took a second mortgage out for it it was uh, I think cost a total of uh, 22000 but then we got a $7,000 rebate and then something else from the state and it turned out it came out pretty uh, uh, good and our electricity bill is like 90 cents our highest one since we've had them and we've been running the air conditioner all summer long 24 ah. 7 our highest electric bill was a dollar 13 so but we st we do have the loan on it but we own it so if we sell the house we own the panels so we, if if we had gone with the rental or that other Varengo thing, we would have to convince the new owner to take over the contract, which is a 20-year contract. Didn't sound like a good deal to me, but uh, so far it's been good. We got 16 panels on the roof, and uh, it's almost. I mean, if we weren't so terrible with energy, because we are. Uh, we, we'd probably be getting money back from the uh, power company. We probably will start getting money back through, this. through the winter. Because... Maybe, but we don't get as much direct sunlight. In the yeah, winter, so but we'll see how that we works also won't turn the heat on either. Yes, we will. No, we will. Yes, we will. <laughs> My uploaded <laughs> life. What made you decide to start making videos on YouTube? And who's your favorite YouTuber? Well, our favorite YouTuber is easy to answer. Oh, it's Nikki, Nikki and, and John, John vlogs. And Nikki and John pranksters in love. They used to be our next door neighbors, and so they're the answer to both of them. Yeah, questions. that's how we got started. Megan became best friends with Nikki, and she was in some of their vlogs. And they lived next door to us, and we started doing barbecues, holidays together, and stuff like that. And they. We took them to Not Scary Farm, and we pranked them, and well, it's just, all on there. On yeah, that block, one thing led to another, and we basically, I think it was me who finally said, you know, hey, yeah. this looks like it'd be fun. Yeah, right? and uh, we could do our ghost hunting, and uh, we'd have some place to put it because before then it was just we'd do something, and it would be just for ourselves. So th this was kind of neat uh, for us to do that. Unfortunately, we. We're not get, getting to do as much of that as we used to. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, and they always used to refer to us as their neighbors. Let's, you know, we're going to the neighbors. So that's why yeah. our channel became The, the neighbors. neighbors. Yeah. So. Okay, Christopher Trade Show. All the questions I asked Lucy. Well, Christopher, ask that's, Lucy. that's the 99 uh, random questions vlog, and we're not going to do that right now. Sorry. <laughs> I can be that way to him. He's my nephew. Um, Danny Lovato, 81396. Yep. 
What are your guys' favorite songs at the moment? I wouldn't say I have a favorite song, but my favorite band right now is the band Perry. Band Perry. Totally country for me. Better Dig 2, Chainsaw. Kevin got me singing Better Dig 2 in the shower oh, the other day. Uh, oh, is that what that was? Yeah. I would have never known. Yeah. Um, what I'm listening to a lot lately is I've been listening to a lot of Coldplay. And um, I always listen to uh, Spire Gyra. They're my favorite band. You probably don't even know who they are. It's a <laughs> jazz band. So, Katie Caroline, where exactly did you meet? Like a place, both you and Kevin. In, it was cyberspace. <laughs> cyberspace. Yahoo Personals. At the time, Yahoo had personals. I don't know if they still do or not. Val, would you do the OCT, OCD challenge for a week? Um... I have extended s certain parts of the OCD challenge because my doctor recommended it once I told him I was doing it. I, I won't extend the whole challenge for a week, but I am working on little things. So, Kevin, what was your best... Was your favorite place to be with the family? Yeah. Home. <laughs> oh, it's read more. Click on read more. Really? Yeah. Uh, That's for Megan. We'll get yes. that later. Yep. Renee Carey. What does Kevin do for a living? I'm a human resource manager for a company that I cannot discuss without. I, I would have to uh, kill you if I told you where I work. How, How did, did you, you boat me? We already told you that. And why did you move to Cali? Uh, I came when I was four, so I was against my will. And I moved because of Megan's dad, my ex husband. And I've been back and forth a few times. We got so Kate again saying, why are you guys so awesome? Don't know, Kate. Thank you, though. <laughs> How did you and Kevin meet? We you, got that you one. You need to say your name, at least. Amber Lauren. How did you and Kevin meet? We already answered. Uh, Vincent, Vincent Gutierrez. If you were able to get another tattoo, what would it be of and why? I'm not finished with the one I got. It's gonna be it's gonna be a year before that thing's done. His is still under construction. I got a couple that are still under construction, but I do have my next one planned out. She's gonna have her other sleeve. I'm gonna have my other sleeve done. It is a um, a, a goddess warrior woman with a polar bear sitting on an iceberg, and underneath the iceberg to go along with my tattoo here. For my cousin who passed away from brain cancer, his urn had fish all over it. Those fish are going to also be tattooed on under the iceberg, swimming around um, as more of a tribute to him. And uh, polar bears for me, because everybody knows how much I love the polar bears. <laughs> Can you guys see us over here? <laughs> you, Mr. Boom Boom. Daryl, can you take care of your cat, please? <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, bud. Come on. Come on. Come on. Bummer! <laughs> positive. How long have you known Nikki and John, and when did you... Oh, Brandon Windsor. How long have you known Nikki and John, and when did you move to Corona? We knew Nikki and John since about 2008. That's when we bought the house, and they moved in, like, right after us, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. And we, I lived in Corona since about 2003, and... I moved here because of uh, Megan and Bill. So. All right. The Spasmodic. What were your first cars, and what is your high, favorite high-fiber cereal? Just kidding. <laughs> Leave it to you, Spasmodic. Um, what was your first car? A 68 Opal Cadet. I can't remember what mine was. It, all I know is a red it was Chevy a, of some sort. It was a junker. It you don't even know my first car. My car. Oh. <laughs> Good. Mine was a red Chevy something or other. And I don't eat cereal, so I couldn't answer that one. I eat cereal, but I have no idea about fiber content. <laughs> G Moore, 1985. Why did you move to the West Coast? Can you answer that. You answered that one already. Terry Johnson. For Val and Kevin, how Holy many moly. siblings 
do you have and their names? Uh, I have a brother. His name is Edward. I had two sisters. Uh, my oldest sister, Karina, and the middle sister, Connie, she passed away in 2003, which is how Kevin and I kind of met. Okay, uh, love story and how we met, we already did. What kind of work does Kevin do? We already did. What kind of work do, uh, did Val do? I was, believe it or not, I was an accountant. I was office manager. I was very good at all that kind of stuff. Very good with numbers and everything. But with all my medications and stuff now, my brain doesn't work anymore. So, okay, so rest, some for, Megan. for Megan and that for Kevin okay. and Megan, what are your favorite colors? Mine is... is Green and maroon. Same. What is your favorite childhood memory? I, I that was 50 years ago. I don't remember. Uh, what was your favorite place to visit on vacation? Yeah. Um. Well, favorite childhood memory for me. Um. I don't really. I can't remember either. Um. Yes. Okay. What is your best present you ever received? Um, I'd say my best present I ever received is my daughter. I figured you'd answer that. Yeah. What is your favorite place to visit on vacation? I think right now it's 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 Calico. Whenever we get a chance. Yeah, we to like to go to Calico Ghost it's Town. Go, it's a ghost town up in uh, San Bernardino Mountain. Yeah, it's not that far from here, so we like to go there. What church, if any, do you belong to? We don't go to church, so we don't really belong to a church. What is your favorite book and movie? Um, my favorite books, I would say, were is uh, still and since high school the uh, um, the Tolkien trilogy, um, The Hobbit. Yeah, stuff. yeah. Uh, movies, uh, I don't have a. I'd say favorite movie is The Haunting, the original nineteen sixty three. Yeah, black and white. Yeah. Um, my favorite books, I don't know, I read so many books, um, so I am going to read that one, but I, I read all the Twilights, all the, um, Mocking, what is it, Catching Fire, uh, Mocking Jay, all of those, they're all good. I, I, I like reading those types of books. Alright. Uh, wait, 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 what is your biggest challenge you have overcome? My biggest challenge I have overcome was my um, my low self-esteem. I, I believe it or not, I used to have very low self-esteem, and I would never get up and actually do stuff like this before. And uh, do you think there are enough questions? We still have a long ways to go, but yes. <laughs> uh, Whitney Broderson. For one month, can Kevin clean the house so I have time to relax? No. Um, Kevin does do his share of work around the house, and uh, being OCD, sometimes it's just not acceptable. But thanks, Whitney, for the thought. <laughs> <laughs> what is the name? Uh, Saray Campos. Why are you so mean to Kevin when sometimes he only wants to help? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not really being mean to Kevin. I just, you know, he tries to help, but sometimes my mental disabilities, I guess is the best way to say it, gets the better of me, and I can't control it sometimes. But he's dealt with me for nine years now, and um, he knows that... It's not really me, so he knows not to take it to heart. And then, you know, once I calm down, he'll walk away, and I'll calm down, or I'll walk away, and I'll come down, and everything will be okay. So I don't try to be mean to him. So, uh, Jared Bunting. Good day. Good day Good again. What are your favorite animals and why? When are you coming to Australia? You got a place for us to come and stay? We'll be there. <laughs> um, what are our favorite animals? You mean as far as our pets or just animals in general? Animals in general, I think everybody already knows. Mine is the polar bear. Mine is whatever one I don't have to clean up after. <laughs> and what? Megan will answer hers when she does. Okay. Her mm -hmm. Q&A. How did you meet Nikki and John? They used to live next door to us. That was from 
Johnson uh, Quarrel. Johnson Quarrel. And uh, Meet the Presleys, what is your favorite recipe? To make. To make. Dead bird. <laughs> what else? That's how we eat. Dead bird. What is your favorite candy? Uh, read her name. Megan Magic X. Also known as Megan Goss. What is your favorite candy? Sweets. Uh, Rolos and um, um, uh, red vines. There you go. I don't really eat a lot of candy, but I like Reese's peanut butter cups, and I like those those Whoppers. Whoppers, Whoppers. Good. Yeah, I like Whoppers. They're good. Secret Life of Vivian. Laugh out loud. You guys are so cute. Thank you. Congratulations. You're almost at 3K. That's a big deal. Yes, it is. We never expected it. Thank you, though, Kate, or Vivian. Raven Bunch. How have the cats been doing? Great. Uh, great. You know, we don't let them outside. If you, sweetheart81067, if you could eat one type of food for a year, what would it be? Chinese, Indian, or Mexican? Or cough, Val, Red Lobster, cough. You got me pegged. Red Lobster. Second choice would be Chinese. Mexican. <laughs> Master Yoda, what country would you like to visit or which culture you'd experience? Um, I think we've been wanting to go to um, Ireland or Scotland for a long time. I've never been there and that has been a dream of mine for a long, long time. And... I wanted to shoot for our 10 year anniversary, but it doesn't look like we're going to be able to make it. Okay. At the Halloween party, you said Taylor was your son, the guy with the epic beard. Is he? No, he is not. He and Megan knew each other from sixth grade, and he's just been in our lives since then, and he is just the sweetest boy. He always is here to help whenever I need anything, and, and I just love him to death pieces and if I was to ever actually have a son I wish it would have been him. Pierre Herrera, the meaning of all your pets names, where you got them, who is your favorite, is Bo is it Boomer Show? I love all your pets, especially Boomer. Okay, I'm not going to do the lizards, but I'll do all the cats and, and the dog and Pascal. First we got Bootsy. I rescued Bootsy. He was she she was brought home um, a guy that I worked with's girlfriend brought her home, and he had two Rottweilers. The Rottweilers attacked her and almost killed her, so I took her and nursed her back to health and uh, saved her life. She's 14 years old. Bootsy, I named her that because her front and back paws have a little bit of white on them, and that's where she got the name Bootsy. Then we have Boomer and Ebony. They were rescues from a shelter. Um... Boomer's name was given to him there, so we just kept it because we thought it was really cute. He responds to it. Yes, he does, and he's more like a dog. Um, Ebony's, Megan changed Ebony's name to Ebony. It was Love Bug or something like that, and Megan wanted it to be Ebony because she is all black, so she changed her name. Then we got Mama Kitty and Mojo, which were the strays outside that... Um, Nikki and John used to take care of, and when they moved, they rent a house, and they already had three indoor cats, and they couldn't take the other two, so we started taking care of them. We brought them in the house, uh, quarantined them, had them tested, they passed, so now they're part of the house, um, and their names were given to them, I believe, by Nikki and John, so we just kept those names. Um, Freckles we got when he was a puppy. We named him Freckles because when he was a puppy, his hair wasn't quite so long, and he had brown spots all over his paws that looked like freckles, so we named him Freckles. And Pascal was given to Megan by uh, Raquel, and Megan just liked the name Pascal, and that's why she named him Pascal. And all the lizards and the rats, I don't know. <laughs> but I hope that answers your question. And who is our favorite? Um, <laughs> do you want to pick a favorite? I, I don't want to pick a favorite. They, it's because, like, picking a favorite one of your children. They pick me here. I mean, obviously, Boomer is attached at the hip to me. Okay. Real Madrid, my question to Val is if she likes California more or New York more. 
What are you doing? Does he see himself in the mirror? I, I don't know. I think so. <laughs> yes, we have a mirror on the ceiling. <laughs> We're all looking up. Boomer see just, you started? Boomer just sat up and started staring. I was expecting to see a dark man or something. <laughs> going, What's the cat staring at? Okay, okay. go on. Uh, I don't know if you could see that. Unfortunately, he's off camera here. It yeah. was funny, guys. He's like, we're all like, what's up? <laughs> My question to Val is if she likes New York or California more. I think I already answered that one previous. Uh, Rocket Blue Jay, how did you meet Nikki and John? They were our next door neighbors. <laughs> <laughs> that is spy. Us. What happened to Kevin's fingers? It was a shack attack when I was in the latter <laughs> half of Australia. <laughs> Telling that story for a long time. Uh, a table saw accident about two, two years ago. Almost three. Almost three years ago. So. Very yeah. scary. Okay, the abyss. Can I be your next exotic animal? Well, you know what, the abyss. We're not getting any more animals. <laughs> when Megan leaves, she's taking some of them with her, and we are done with getting animals. Except maybe when Bootsy goes, I might have to get something to replace Bootsy just because it'll be so very sad for me. Brittany Olson, can you say... Can the, you do... Oh, can you do the ABC backwards? Heck no. no. Um, can you name all the pets that you grew up with till now? No. Heck no. <laughs> now, I hope your what? vlog... Uh, I love your vlog. Oh, I love your vlogs. My first vlog of yours was when you... We're at John and Nikki's, and then I subbed. Well, thank you. And why does Mama flinch when you pet her? We think Mama has always been a stray, and she's not used to people. Uh, what is your favorite food? Lobster. And steak. What's yours? Uh, 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 what's it called? Dead bird. Uh, yeah, dead bird. <laughs> And is Megan your only kid? Yes, Megan is my daughter from my previous marriage. And as far as I know, Kevin doesn't have any kids. No more than two. <laughs> can you and Kevin do the tin can challenge? I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Please check out my vlogs on my channel, Brittany Olson. I will put more up. I just started. We sure will check out your vlogs. I'll subscribe tonight and I'll start watching sometime during the week. Uh, J. Bennett 380. What city state was you and Kevin born in and how did you first meet each other? I was born in Nyack, New York. Nyack. I was born in Philadelphia. The Franklin Hospital. In 19... I ain't gonna say it. <laughs> And we first met on the Ow. computer. Ow. Ow. Pierre Ow. Herrera, where are where you got your pets? Where did you get your pets? I uh, went over all that. The meaning of their names. I don't really have meanings. <sighs> what is your favorite? Okay, we already answered all that. And Shalene TV. Congratulations on 3,000 subscribers. Thank you. And who inspired you to make videos on YouTube? Um, Nikki and John from Nikki and John's Vlogs. Well, there you go. Nikki and John's Pranksters and Love. What is that? A, a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and, and Boomer, too. Yeah. Is there anything else you want to just kind of add? Uh -uh. Um, I think the only thing I'd like to add is that we are very much enjoying making vlogs for you guys. I hope that we do make everybody smile or laugh just a little bit every day. And we really do enjoy doing the ghost hunting and we really want to try and do that some more for you guys. So we're working on that. And I think that's about everything. And I hope you guys enjoy what you see and I hope you keep watching and don't forget to wear your ugly sweaters for the ugly sweater contest and
Thumbs up. Bye. We'll see you tomorrow.